as we talk to the team leader with Keller Williams Memorial right here in Houston, Texas. His name is Larry Frawley. Larry, welcome back to the show. Uh, thanks so much for having me. By the way, I love the new digs you guys are in here now. It's this a, is pretty nice. I got to see the old and I got to see the new. Yes, indeed you have. And it's exciting. Anything new like this, professional, it, it adds a certain element. And, and you're feeling it already. I'm, I'm excited about that. I'm feeling it already. Yeah. So, Larry, your company, Keller Williams mm-hmm. Memorial, is doing tremendous work. Your associates, your realtors are winning awards right and left. We visited at the Houston Business Journal Awards. We saw you there. Your guys were receiving all kinds of awards for a variety of reasons. Some of that is the leadership that's provided right there at your organization, Keller Williams Memorial. Let's tell people about Keller Williams Memorial. So Keller Williams Memorial, so we are um, – we're Houston's largest Keller Williams franchise now of, gosh, there's about 800 offices out there nationwide. It's, it's a, you know, very, very large franchise. We're, we're worldwide and uh, we're Houston's largest. So we're just under 700 agents in our, in our office. And uh, yeah, we're still growing about 1.9 billion in sales last year. One of the things, as far as Keller Williams, just in general, when we talk to people at Keller Williams or we know about the people there, you're known for training. And I, I think that a lot of your agents do so well for a variety of reasons, but one is the training that's provided by your offices, your local offices like yours, and then also Keller Williams in general. Tell us a little bit about some of the, the distinctions in training that you provide. It's a great question. You know, we are, Keller Williams is a very learning based company. And I tell agents, if you're not learning based, we may not be the right fit for you, right? Just to be just to be honest, it's you know from your your from a brand new agent coming in um, to our experienced agents, it's still the, the business changes the the way the business works and operates. We are going through a shift now. We'll talk about that if you want to talk about that in a few minutes. And yet, it is all about the training and education. And by the way, we know. You know, agents that are learning based um, that are coming into the business today are going to do statistically better than than the agents that are not learning based. And when we think about the agent, there are as far as the best kind of agent, the best fit for you or even in general, when someone just gets right out of real estate school, they're looking for the right broker. As a team leader, you talk to these people. What makes a good person in, that's going to be successful in real estate. What do you see in them when they first come out of real estate school? What do you look for? So the ones that are, here's what, I, here's what I'll say. The ones that are going to statistically make it easier are, are those that are, that are people skilled, right? Relationship skilled. And you see that right off the bat, I guess. Y- you do. You see that right, right up front with them from the beginning. Now, with that said, I've got engineers who are very successful, who are not necessarily really people skilled, or relationship skill, and yet they still do very well. So you never try to judge. You have to be ready for those. You got to be ready. Yeah, you got to be ready. And you know, a lot of it on an appointment is it's getting to know them, but it's asking them a question. You know, what's important to you? What's important to you? Why did you get? Why did you get in real estate? Well, I like to look at the HDTV shows. Okay, that's not real. You know, however, what have you done towards your education? What have you done toward training? Are you afraid of sales? Are you afraid of picking up the phone and calling somebody, right? So those are usually the questions that we get into. You know, what does your database look like? Well, I don't have a database. Oh, well, actually you do. Pull out your phone, right? How many people you have in that phone right there? So that's kind of what we look for. And then let's take an established agent, someone that's been in, in the business I don't know, six, seven years. They were at this broker. They were at that one. They come over to Keller Williams Memorial. They talk to you and they say, hey, Larry, I'm thinking about, is there a fit for us here? Tell, how does that work, and what do you look for when you have, we'll say, a seasoned agent sitting in front of you? Typically, when they come over, they've they've already got a system that they've been using, right? They they've made, they've got something that they've they've done that's been part of what their success is. And what we do is we we see if there's a way that we can help them build their business into something bigger, if that's their goal, right? So maybe it's maybe they have a challenge with their administrative staff, right? We do a lot around helping our teams hire, right? Because an agent's, you know, all of a sudden they're real busy, 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 and, and now they got no time to go out and try to hire. And usually sometimes they're not really good at the hiring process where we are. So we help them with that. So you have, and I'm talking about training, but that's 
not the only one of the that's not the only tool that you right. provide. G- give us an idea of some of the things that you're doing there at Keller Williams Memorial. One of the things we started here about six months ago is we have free transaction coordinators. Our free transaction coordinators will help our agents. Sometimes they're not necessarily the best at the paperwork part, right? They're really great at sales. They're me. really great at getting out. And I'm getting smiles from over here across the room. You know, it's that's what they're really good at. So we help them on leveraging, you know, so a transaction coordinator will help leverage them on the paperwork side of the business. You were talking about a shift. I tell people a shift is not a bad thing. It, it is not bad by no means. Could we say that the market was different six months ago than it is today? I yeah. would say yes. We're in a shift, right? That's all. It, it's in a shift. Now, I don't know how many people were in business in 2008 and 2009. I, I lived that bloodbath, and it wasn't a lot of fun. And yet there were, there were agents that came out of that that did very, very, very extremely well, you know, because they, it was a different market. I, yeah. They've said we're not going to go back that far, but who knows, right? Who, no who, no knows who really the knows, right? Interest rates go up, right? Gary Keller says, you know, interest rates might not be high enough because, you know, people are still buying, right? They're still buying. We're still short of inventory, right? So, um, and I'll just say this selfishly, you know, we're in Houston. Gas prices are way up. That's oil. That's people working. You know? Well, we have a few advantages in Houston. One, yeah. gas prices have gone up but they're not as high as other places. That's exactly right. And as the market's changing, we still, last I heard, are a very attractive city out of all the cities in the United States right. to want to be be in. So that's helping us too. Or Absolutely. that perhaps if things go south, that's delaying that yeah. that aspect of it. It's but medical, it's technology, right? There's a lot more things coming into Houston now. So, Well, as the, the team leader at Keller Williams Memorial, you're always thinking you're ready to be nimble along with the agents and ready to adjust to whatever the market conditions is because people still need to buy, they need to sell and all that. It's just going to be under different circumstances. It sounds like. I said to my, my boss the other day, Craig Owen, I said, we were talking and he said, you know, he said, the nice part is he said, he said, he said, I always loved, you know, just recruiting in, in a tough market, right? That was a lot of fun. And, and I agree that that is where, it's nice to have a new challenge, right? It's nice to have a new challenge. We, you know, our goal is that we're helping agents every day. Right? We're helping them with their business every day. There, there's a shift that's happening, right? So we're going to have to do business a little bit differently. By the way, it won't be average days on market of 30 days. Maybe it's an average days of 60 days or 90 days, right? Yeah. Whatever it will be, will be. But guess what? Buyers will actually get the home that they want to purchase. It might be easier for the buyer, quite, yeah, yeah. quite frankly. And it, it, it'll it be very inter- interesting. As far as uh, some of the other things you're doing, what about property management? We, we talked a little bit about that yeah. prior to the recording here. Yeah, so I did this this year I with my wife and daughter have opened up my own property management company. Um, Houston has a, a significant amount of rentals, which is good. And it's one thing, if we talk about a shift, that that never changes, right? Property management never changes. People are always looking to to rent, and, and owners, investors are always looking for somebody to manage their properties. So, yeah. That's a very important job, too. When we think it's, about property management, if I were to have a rental home or a home that I designate as rental and try to manage it myself, well, that's one of the reasons I, I don't want to do that because that's I don't want people to be calling and having – I mean, that, that, that so many things can yeah. go wrong with a home, period. But then when you're responsible for providing that service – yeah. That's a big job. Well, think about it. Real estate is the greatest source of wealth, right? Anybody that's got a lot of money has real estate somewhere in their portfolio. So sometimes it's like, I really don't want to manage it, right? I don't want to do any of that. I just want to have the investment. So that's where we step in and help them out. And Larry, before we close the segment, what else do you want people to know? We're talking with Larry Frawley, the team leader at Keller Williams Memorial right here in Houston. Right here in Houston. So there's a rumor on the street. And the rumor is that we're going to be moving our location. Well, the rumor's true. I won't tell you where it is yet, but it's a it's a little um, little closer to the Galleria area than what we are currently in it right now. And it's a it's an exciting time. We're going to put a lot of money into the building ourselves. Um, so that'll be one really nice factor coming up, and probably early, either very late uh, twenty two or early early twenty three. 
Well, one of the other distinctions I'm now thinking of with Keller Williams in general is that you have the family reunion where you all get together once a year at a, uh, at a location. If you could share with us maybe one or two things that as the whole company in general looks at and you talk back and forth to people in various locations, sure. what are some of the things that they're talking about as far as what's going to happen next as a general thing, as a major company, Keller Williams. I still Williams. think all of the conversations that we're starting to have and, and Gary Keller's starting to have with us is it really is about the shift. It's just kind of preparing, you know, preparing our agents for that coming up. Um, you don't want to have to move into a market like that where you're not prepared. So a lot of our um, training, our teams are, are building, they're expanding all over the country, what we call Keller Williams Expansion. Um, so this year we're out in so February we're in California. We're going to be out there at, at Disneyland with that one. So that'll be that'll be exciting time. And we have literally about 21, 22,000 of our associates that come in just for that. How all many? over the world, about twenty one thousand all over the world. Years ago, I, I was at one of the family reunions in Las Vegas. It was super. It was yeah. fun, informative, and also very motivating. Oh yeah, Vegas is one of our. So we've gotten so big, there's only certain locations. California's one, we've got Vegas, we've got Dallas, we've got New Orleans, and we've got Orlando. And that's really about the only places that are big enough now for us to travel into. And Larry, if someone wants to learn more about your company, Keller Williams Memorial, what should they do? Give me a call. 713-899-7394. He's going to say say it again. One more time. 713 713- 899-7394. Thank you so much, Larry Frawley with Keller Williams Memorial. Thanks, Larry. Thank you, Bill.